Welcome back everybody, it's time to lock down some Pioneer Slivers and we won the die roll up against Pyro Slaver and we have a new addition to the deck. Let's see if we draw him here. We do not. It's Realm Walker from Caldem. Cald Caldeheim. Caldeheim. Can't say it this week. Can't say it. Some weeks I can, some weeks I can't. Um, perfectly keepable hand on our way to an icon and a collected company. So, Realm Walker. We put two of them in the deck. We cut one of our icons and then we cut our Immortal Sun. I put the Immortal Sun in the sideboard and I just straight up cut one of the icons. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to, to play him. It's a changeling, so we'll be calling Sliver. Uh, we choose a creature type when he enters and then it lets us look at the top card of our library and then play that card on, from the top of our library. So it's pretty sweet. We're up against some Simic Mill. Self, oh no, it's Dredge. <laughs> I thought they targeted me for a second. All right, so, yeah, prized amalgam. Okay, dredge. Uh, not looking forward to that. Mm, let's get set up with a metallic mimic. Sounds reasonable. And, yeah, maybe we'll get a chance to sneak a peek at the Realm Walker. Pretty sweet card. And we also added in our Popper Slivers deck, Masked Vandal from... Caldheim. Caldheim? Cal See, I can't I can't do it. I'm thinking too hard about it. Feel the top five cards and put a creature card and land card from into your hand. Put the rest in your grave. Very cool. All right. What did they put into their hand? Let's find out. So yeah, Mass Vandal in our new Popper Silver Step, which is also a changeling, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then, yeah, so check out that deck if you want. What else did they put in here? They kept... Haunted Dead. All right, they kept Stitcher Supplier. Makes sense. And they got a Narcomoeba. And they get a prized Amalgam. And I gotta remember, do you block? Yeah. All right. Oh, uh, Diffusion Sliver. Hmm. Do I even need the Diffusion? They're just trying to hammer us hard. I think I'll, uh... Put down a Lord this turn, and then set up for a Mana Swift into another Lord next turn. If we start to see even a removal, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get the Diffusion out there. But I think they've got their own agenda here. But we're racing a little bit. The uh, Metallic Mimic is going to help us get some extra defense buff against these Prize Amalgams. If need be. <clears throat> All right. Are we both stuck on two lands? Nope, they've got a third. They're paying it. Paying it hard. In they come. I don't know if I want to take... If I should be taking against these guys, but I feel like... We can take a hit. One hit, at least. i read some of these other cards. Create a... Fly okay, and they play a Seder Wayfinder. That's fine. That'll just be a little chump blocker for him. I think we can race, though. Alright, so Narcomoeba, Stitcher Supplier, and there's the Stitchers. And they got a Blooming Marsh in their hand, so that must have left. Okay. And then they Creep and Chill us. Ooh, see, that's the rough part. Okay. Okay. Oh, dredges. Dredge is fun. Dredge is fun. That's a lot, man. Oh. Oh. So I play Mana Swift. Play a Lord. So this will just come into play tapped. This is going to be rough. A little bit. I gotta try to set up. Those are some nice big four fours. And we'll pass. Um, hmm, yeah. Okay. I still got so many cards in hand. Crazy. And they got this awkward blooming march. Marsh. Marsh. 
Gonna have to bring in our graveyard hate. If this was any other match, though, what a board. This is a great board. Another Overgrown. You gotta pay? Ugh, that's not a very good sign, is it? Gain Menace. Huh. Okay. Wow. That's awesome. Jeez. So we just lost our hand, basically? So what do I need to take? What do I need to kill here? So I want to try to leave stuff. Hold on, what are you? Sacrifice, let me draw a card. Let me make sure we're not dying here. Four. Seven, ten. Yuck. We lose our hand. So we gotta hope they like overstepped a little bit and uh and they don't have another like play here that they can get blockers up. <laughs> Ugh, that's rough. Give me a lord. Give me something to power through this last. Okay, come on. What do you got? You gotta be able to block something here. Comes in tapped. With a token. Okay. So close. I knew they had to have some other play, but that is unfortunate. Maybe we'll just swing really fast and they won't block. Come on, 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 what a bummer. Um, hmm, lifelink sounds reasonable. Uh, gr yes, graph diggers is a must. I think, uh, cut an icon, cut the hive lord, cut a metallic, cut another. Hmm, what else? What else? Striking. Keep the striking. Kind of want to keep Bone Scythe. Cut another icon. All right, so really quick, here's our Realm Walker. Here's our addition. Changeling enters the battlefield. Choose a creature type. I think I already described this pretty on point. You may look at the top card of your library at any time, and you may cast creature spells of the chosen type from the top of your library. Three mana, two, three, Changeling. Good card. Um, let's run it. I don't know if we need more. I didn't see, like, any removal. I think they're just more or less worried about dumping their hands, so. Well, we will keep it. We will keep it. Seems reasonable to me. Get our life linkers going. I'd love to get a flying just so we can start racing back and forth and gaining a bunch of life. No paying the life here, though. Maybe I should have be mulliganing hard for my graph digger, digger zone. Oh, Realm Walker! Are we going to see him have play? Oh, please let him have some play. That'd be awesome. All right, come on, let's do this. We're getting him down ASAP. As quick as we can. Just so I can play him and put him in the thumbnail. It's fine. Five cars enter. One survives. Narcomoeba's coming out. We'll know about that. Yep, Narcomoeba. He goes in. 
breeding pool and botanical. They kept the overgrown. Okay. All right. Ooh, metallic mimic. Hmm. I got to get him down, right? I got to play him. I just got to. Oh, man. How else could we set this up here? We could set it up a little bit bigger. We could go mana swift into a metallic mimic. I feel like I should be attacking. We'll, we'll take one turn to set up. I think that's reasonable. All right. We're going to have the place. I think uh, once we drop a realm and siphon, we'll be on point. Uh, they've got to gain life in order to do this. Okay. Let's see if they play their other overgrown. Another grizzly. Okay. So they'll probably take a stitchers. Yeah. Blooming marsh. Stitchers. Hit the creeping chill. Lovely. So now they get... How many do they have in here? They have one ghoul. They are going to start attacking. That's fine. He gets triggered. Comes in tapped. Graph diggers. Okay. It's a wrap GG, right? Basically. I mean, we play this right now. There we go. We'll put him down with uh, you. Sure. Realm Walker, here we go. Sliver. Bang. And yes, we will play you. Look at that. Straight off the top, can I play you? How do I play you? Hold on. Undo. Undo. I can play him off the top, or can I not do it until summoning sickness? Let cast chosen type off the top. Can I not cast him until this goes away? I feel like I should be able to cast him. Let's try again really quick. I don't know. I guess not. Hmm. I, could, I feel like I should be able to, right? Cast creature spells of the chosen type from the top of your library. Interesting, but okay. Let's get on the attack. I feel a lot more safe now that we have the graph diggers down. I must just have to wait until... Uh, his summoning sickness goes away. Doesn't really make sense I don't have to, though. Oh, wait. No, I'm, I'm, blo I'm cock-blocking myself with Graph Diggers. <laughs> That's right. Well, we got him into play. We're not going to take full advantage of him, but we're drawing a Lord next turn, and it's fine. I completely forgot about the Graph Digger. Uh, I always forget that it affects us. That's the main thing. But, ugh, they get that anyways. That's annoying. Well, yeah, we'll grab a land. Uh, we're going to grab what I want here. Probably just another forest. Let's just grab another forest. Another grizzly salvage. Did they play their other overgrown? No, they played a breeding pool. Narcomiga, Narpamiga. Yeah... Assassins, Blooming. Alright, I've got some little blockers. Now at this point they shouldn't be attacking though, I don't think. But they are. Why are you attacking like that? Okay. can't play him but that's all right uh we can play you though 
And this is going to be probably go on to game three as soon as I launch this guy down. Uh, yeah, uh, let's do it like this. Once they see this, they're like, okay, I get it, I get it. That's fine. Yeah, there we go. All right, well, we blocked ourselves with the Graft Diggers Realm Walker. Uh, does that mean we should be taking him out? That sucks. But it kind of does mean that. It means take out Realm Walker. Makes sense. Uh, but I didn't consider that the last time we did it. So let's bring back in a Silver Hive Lord and... What else do we want here? Metallic or a striking? No, I don't want striking. Fatal. I guess we just bring back a metallic. I want to be fast. I don't mind bringing the high void in, though. All right, well, that's too funny. I'd even consider that with Realm Walker, but we got to see him play. He's in the deck. We got to do it. Ah. Uh, can't keep this. That's unfortunate. Keep this. I want everything. I guess we don't need diffusion, but I do want like a turn two play. Maybe we just dump a land. Wait. Why did I keep this hand? Oh no, I screwed myself hard. Oh no. Yeah, I really screwed myself hard, actually. Really hard. Alright, we're dropping to fusion now. Because now I can't chance not getting lands for, like, Collected Company because I'm an idiot and I didn't realize we didn't, we can't play our Gale Rider turn one. I was thinking this was like a breeding pool or something. That may have cost us the game, honestly. That's a pretty bad blunder. Oh, but that's a great start, though. What else did they hit here? Okay, well, they're going to get a ghoul out. This was a bad blender. Thank goodness for Mana Swift to help us out a little bit, but it's a bit rough. Uh, that we just threw. I just threw. Mmm. And you can escape with that card. Cool. Man, I don't remember that. I don't remember that from Theros. That's a sweet looking card. They didn't hit anything good though. Thank goodness. We're still getting a beating. Okay, unclaimed. That's good. We're going to take another hit from, from the ghoul, because I, I don't want to chump block yet. We did get our fourth land for Collected Company, so if we can survive, maybe we can get back in this. They have three cards in hand. Going for the swing. Another Grizzly. Okay. Prized Amalgam is going to be coming out. I think we know everything. Here comes Stitcher. Uh, their last card might be a Blooming Marsh, but it's fine. Okay. So, 
So, so, so. Get down a big boy blocker. Sounds reasonable. It's not even that big of a blocker, but if we need to, we can. And next turn, I'll like pre combat collect a company and maybe try to find like some lords and see if we can gain back a bunch of this life. Maybe I should have went. Uh... Well, they're low on cards, so there might be a chance here. Wayfinder. He's going to go in. Who are you keeping? Breeding pool? Yep. And they're taking it for that last card. Let's see if they can go deep here. Mm, I knew I should have played the diffusion. That's rough. That's rough. Okay. Um, just grab this. But there's zero cards. So maybe I should just chump block here. I'm just going to chump block here. I'm done taking all that damage. Uh, now they defeated our life linker. Collected company is good. I mean, uh, leeching is good. Ah, I should not have tapped my unclaimed. Let's go double leeching and predatory. They have zero cards. Okay. Stabilize a little bit. We just don't want to see these prized amalgams coming out. That's going to make things a little bit more difficult. They come out tapped though, right? So we have a turn. Tapped. Okay. All right. No gas. Come on. They got some gas. What do you got? Sweet Oblivion. Okay, they're going to do it like that. They got a Narc Amoeba, so now they're going to get their prized amalgams. Okay. Shoot. I need a life linker like right now. So now the question becomes, do I try to race a little bit? I think the answer is yes. I'm just going to attack like this. I probably should have just tapped with my Predatory and swung with my other guy. That would have been better. Uh, but so be it. We'll keep up an extra blocker just in case, I suppose. Okay, even and out the life total a little bit. I can double block one of my guys. Or triple block a Mutie. I 
I could have gotten in for a little bit more damage. It's unfortunate. Almost throwing the game with the mulligan, and I'm just trying to keep throwing it, even though we're stabilizing. <laughs> Triple black of a vault. Okay. That's fine. That's reasonable. And they hit a creeping. Ugh. That is annoying. Okay. Two cards in hand. They actually, I feel like they almost should have just double blocked a leeching because that's really gonna. If we don't lose any creatures this turn, if we can survive, then be pretty gnarly. All right, they got a creeping chill. Gosh, dang it! That is so annoying. Jeez. And they can go deeper with a stitcher. I'm guessing. Hit that Stitcher. No attacks is great for me. What could they have, though? Yeah, you should be playing that. You're gonna need the extra blocker. They found an Arc Amoeba. And a prized amalgam, but it'll come in tapped. Alright. I think we got it. Because we can do. We get these guys, but they're tapped. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, just off our leeching. They block 4, but then we still get in for the last point of damage. So we did it. We pulled it out. All right, we almost threw a couple times. My sloppy plays. Ooh, that's just a nice finishing touch, isn't it? There you go. Have some of that. Here you go. Should have double blocked my leeching. Good stuff. Uh, let's uh, let's yield to this, shall we? Good match. I don't I don't think I've beaten Dredge yet. Honestly, I've played it. I played it a couple times in the beginning when I first started Pioneer, and I don't think I ever beat it. It's just a really hard matchup for us. Really hard. They're very fast. I don't know what else you could do here to get around one damage, but got one mana. All right, cool. Leave a like. That was a close one. That was a close one. We got to see our our walker guy. We blocked ourselves with him, but you got to see him. So he's going in the thumbnail. But um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that one. That was a really close matchup. And leave a like because, again, I don't think I've beaten Dredge yet. So that was a really good match. Uh, make sure to subscribe. Check out the Pioneer, uh, the Popper videos this week, too, to see the addition of the Cald Caldum. I See, I can't say it. Mast Vandal card in our popper slivers deck so make sure you're checking out both the videos this week and see how those things play and uh, we will see you guys in the next video